one that can see. Wearing sunglasses. How's it going, YouTube family? Welcome. I come with some somber news. Turns out our friend Dana Durnford has been banished from the YouTube platform. Now, this is a guy who put out over thousands of videos, so much content on the crisis in Fukushima. And I feel really bad that I really haven't been covering it for you guys. Because there's been so much things happening. But I was like, hey, Dana's out there. He's pushing hard every day. He's covering a lot of the stories. And now all of that is gone. All that's wiped away. Those thousands of videos with all that content. There's nobody else like Dana Durford that pushed Fukushima, the catastrophe that was going on there. And, you know, I kind of got kind of sidetracked a little bit, I guess you could say, with uh, the Bovid-19. I guess you could say I put Fukushima on the back burner. And I really shouldn't because, you know, Fukushima is always cooking. And it's always cooking hotter. And it, it, that thing's always blowing up. So it, there's no escaping that. That's just a mathematical problem. It just keeps on building. Keeps on concentrating and fish more and more. And if you're still eating fish now, I don't care what ocean you're coming from. You're eating Fukushima. There's been a studies done that bioaccumulation in fish can be up to a million times into a fish compared to its surroundings. Please stop eating food from Fukushima and as much as I like Japanese people you really need to consider not getting food from there. Just so many people have been put under a spell lately they just blindly just eat anything from anywhere. They take any drug Whoever recommends it, it could be a eugenicist, says he wants to rid the population, and then he offers a cure, and then everybody runs for it. It's just so sickening. I just had a friend just talk to her from high school, and she told me she got the stinger in her arm uh, last month, and now she just got a positive test, and she's saying... Thank goodness she got the stinger. It would have been worse. I mean, this is what the doctors are telling people. She just got out of the hospital. Don't believe the mainstream. I'm so fed up with YouTube, really. <laughs> That's why I haven't done a video in almost a month. Because my last video that I did, it got took down. I guess my mistake was, is that I was showing you the documentation. And that's a lot of what Dana does. He shows you so much documentation. He's not trying to code word anything. He's not trying to sugarcoat anything. And when you show too much info, too much truth to the world on this platform, you're going to get punished. I'm begging him. And maybe you all could talk to Dana and be like, hey, we need to find another social media platform where you can grow, man. Because he had 25,000 subs here on YouTube all that content gone erased I wish we would have saved more of it years ago I talked to a few people about maybe doing that I really regret uh, not transferring some of his content to the other sites like BitChute, Odyssey, Minds, Rumble, even MeWe there's a few others but he needs to get out there we need to get on these other platforms let's stop rewarding these social media giants that are punishing us for telling the truth. It shouldn't be like that. We are in some dark times. We're being attacked from all angles and it gets worse by the day. By the hour, more of your freedoms are getting stripped away. And it's come to the point where telling the truth is a crime. And the man, he's busting his butt all day looking for evidence, documenting what's going on, showing species counts, showing they're getting lower in a lot of places. And this is a worldwide phenomenon, a worldwide event that it's nothing we can run away from. And as long as they keep hiding the information from us, and we're just not gonna face the facts, there's no recovery. You think we would get smacked to our knees as a human race and say, okay, it's time to stand up Time to be a man, time to take responsibilities and clean up this world. But I guess we're not 
we're not done yet. I guess they're not done yet. Obviously, we just want to go ahead and start repairing everything. But it looks like there's going to be a lot more suffering before that happens. It looks like they really want to get those numbers to 500 million that you see on the Georgia Guidestone. Oops, I shouldn't have said that. Anyway, I am going to leave you a link to Dana Durnford's new channel he's got on YouTube. Like I said, talk to the man. Let's see some other social media place where we can start putting his content. The man doesn't deserve that. He also has a backup, so I'm going to put both of those links in the description. Because I know uh, quite a few of you who have subbed to me or are also subbed to him. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and give him a shout out. Because this man has covered Fukushima like nobody else. He's really carried the way for a lot of us. I'm also going to leave you a few sites where I am subbed on some new social media platforms that we can expand out of this madness. We can insulate ourselves from this tyranny. So I look forward to seeing you all. God bless. Have a good one. You're welcome to take this trip with me. Let's wake up a few people. Peace. Providing you with the knowledge to land yourself in an extremely uncomfortable conversation at a party with a very opinionated acquaintance. Click here.